Hello and welcome to another video from Yesterday's Airlines. In this video we're going to be taking a look at one of the perennial questions in 400 scale. Who has the best Airbus A350 mould on the market in 2021? Now I have to say that there's been quite a lot of movement in this A350 space in the last year or two and not just amongst new entrants like NG models um, but also improvements from the existing moulds like JC Wings and even in the Phoenix. So it's not fair to look at the original releases uh, and use them in this review. I'm going to be looking at four models, which you can see arrayed here, which represent um, the most accurate modern versions of the moulds from each of those manufacturers. So um, in primary view here, you can see we've got the Delta from uh, Aviation 400. Then we've got this Air China from Phoenix. And then we've got the Malaysia Airlines, which is NG models. And the fourth we have here is another Air China, but this time in the Star Alliance scheme from JC Wings. So my plan is to look through each of these models and see what I think about different components of the aircraft. And, and overall, that will give you an idea of you know, which one I think is the best and hopefully give you at least some ammunition to make your own decision. Now, this isn't the first time I've looked at A350s. I've looked at A350s on my website a couple of times. I've already done a detailed review um, where I compared the Aviation 400 to the JC Wings to the Phoenix, but it didn't include the NG models because it didn't exist at the time. I have subsequently done um, a separate NG models one, but this is the first time that I've actually had all four of the models together at the same time. And hey, it's a video, it's not the same anyway, as, as written text. So. Check out that on the website if you want to see what I thought about things when I was writing those detailed reviews. But otherwise, stay tuned and we'll have a look through each of the molds and different parts of the A350 to get a feel for what's on offer in 2021 from the major 400 scale manufacturers for this aircraft type. Okay, so the first areas we're going to look at are the nose region, including the cockpit and the nose gear. And straight up here, you can see we've got starting with the uh, the Phoenix version of the, the A350. And I have to say that I don't really dislike any of these moulds particularly, but I do think that you can still rate them um, amongst themselves. And that's kind of what I'm intending to do here. So starting with the Phoenix. Um, now the A350 has got quite a complex nose shape and there is in the real thing a clear difference when you get to the cockpit and the curve that happens here and I think that even though the Phoenix actually isn't too bad here it's not quite as accurate as it might be. I also think that the nose perhaps not quite um, long enough and pointy enough on the Phoenix version. So I think this isn't isn't bad but it's it's not completely accurate here. Now in terms of the landing gear, the nose gear here, that's also um, looking quite good perhaps um, not perfect again and mainly I think because the length on the Phoenix um, mold is a little long, but otherwise it's got some really nice detailing here. Um, some people don't like the silvery aspect of the undercarriage on the Phoenix. Uh, it's probably better than the light gray that's um, often on these molds though. So I'm kind of, doesn't bother me too much on that. I think that the wheel size here is good and they've certainly decreased the size of the wheel, um, which is good to see because originally it was way too big. Um, I think that the gear leg is, is quite nice. Certainly does the job. So it's not, it's not a bad start for the Phoenix, um, but I think there's potentially room for improvement nonetheless. Okay, so that's the Phoenix, the nose. And let's move to um, the JC Wings. And this is the updated JC Wings nose. Um, for a long time, it was heavily criticized because the angle here was completely incorrect. But now I think they've really got that note, the angle change here looking good. And actually, I think this is a better nose than on the the phoenix um it's not helped though that the cockpit printing is kind of weird um the one thing that i don't like about the jc wings a350 is the length of the nose gear whereas i thought it was perhaps too long on the phoenix i think it's too short on the jc wings um and again you've got this light gray and it's it's okay but it's it's not you know not thrillingly i have to say but it's, it's again, it's, it's not dreadful, it's just perhaps not perfect. 
Moving on to the Aviation 400. Now I think this has got a, a nicer looking nose and it doesn't you know, helps that the printing's so good, but um, I think they've got the angle here looking good. I think it's probably on par, certainly with the JC Wings, perhaps a little bit better. Um, and I like the length um, of the undercarriage here. Having said that, I do think that the nose gears doors here are a little bit large and perhaps this you know, rearward process on the nose gear is also a little larger or a little bit high up the leg. Um, but overall, I really do like the look and feel of the Aviation 400 nose. Moving on to the last and the newest, and it's uh, the NG models now. I have to say that I think this is probably the best of the bunch. Um, I think it's got a really good nose shape here good change of angle from the cockpit. And I think that they've got the length of the nose gear correct, but they've got a, a better size nose gear door than on the AP400. And again, the rear process here is better as well. I actually think that the, the gear leg itself looks really nice though. It would perhaps be nicer if it was not painted like gray. So it's a close thing I think here. Personally, I think that the, AV, um, the NG models has probably got the best nose followed by the Aviation 400 and the JC Wings. And probably I'd have to say that if I was gonna pick one as the worst, it would be the Phoenix, but it's not drastically bad. I think that they all do okay in that area. Okay, next up, we're gonna take a look at the engines and the engine pylons, which is um, probably second to the nose in being the area that collectors have had most issues with, with these models. Um, and again, we'll start with the Phoenix. Um, the Phoenix has been criticized quite heavily for the lack of ground clearance historically, um, that has been improved. They've certainly changed the pylons and so it's better than it was and the ground clearance isn't awful. Having said that, you can see it's still not great and I still think the pylons are hanging this a little low. Um, I also think that there's way too much gap between the rear exhaust of the engine and the actual back of the pylons. It's actually very close on the real thing. It's just not quite the right shape there. Um, and again, this is too rounded, this area at the back of the pylons too here. So the pylons on, on the Phoenix aren't really very good. The engines themselves actually, you know, are pretty good. Don't really have um, any big issues with the engines themselves. They're quite nicely shaped and detailed. Um, so decent job there, Phoenix. And if you move around to the front on the Phoenix engines, um, they've got some nice um, fan blades, which you can see are see-through, and also they do um, go round if you can be bothered to try and make that happen, which I can't. Um, so they look pretty good from the front. The engines themselves are nice. Uh, it's just the pylons really, which kind of let down the, the Phoenix A350, I think. Moving on again in the same order as before to the JC Wings. And we have a look at this. Um, it's got much better pylons. You can see that the ground clearance is better even though the undercarriage is shorter on this mold. Um, and that's partly because the pylons are much better shaped. You can see how closely the rear of the uh, pylons matches with the second stage of the exhaust. And that is correct. You can see that it's got a much um, more angular shape here in the pylon, which is much more correct as well. So from the side, um, those aspects of the engine are great. What's less good is actually these two second stage pieces, which are too big. Um, so that's not quite right. It's too long and it's also too too thick. Um, so that's not great. Moving around to the front, I think it's got really nice engines. Probably slightly better than the Phoenix. Um, again, I think the fan blades probably go around on this, but who cares? Um, good fan blades though, nonetheless, um, and the engines look good otherwise. So again, Better pylons, but the second stage of the exhaust isn't as good as on the Phoenix, I'd say. Next up, we've got the Aviation 400. Um, this one pretty much um, gets the shape of the engines correct again, a nice second stage of the exhaust. Again, I think there's too much space here on the pylons between the engine and the pylon here, but it does have a better, more angular shape than the Phoenix does at the rear. So again, it isn't perfect. Um, moving around to the front, See through engines again, as everyone does. The blades, there are more blades, they're more closer to the right number of blades, but they're 
Um, they're really, really thin on the, the Aries 400, which isn't quite as nice as on the Phoenix or the JC Wings. So nobody's, you know, kind of got it perfect thus far. If we move to the the NG, again, this is the newest model, so you kind of expect it to be the most accurate, and I think it probably is. If you look at the uh, the shape of the engines, you look at the shape of the second stage, look at the way that the the pylon meets the engine and the shape over here of the uh, the rear under part of the pylon. I think that's probably the best. If you move around to the front, it's got again C3 blades and again um, it's got a better number and they're slightly thicker than on the um, the Avis 400. So it's got a more correct number of fan blades than on the Phoenix and the JC. So again, I think here you're probably going to be saying that on the engines and pylons. It's probably the NG, which is which is slightly winning out here, I think, for those details. Um, again, you've got decent ground clearance, uh, much better than on, I'd say, than on the Phoenix. Um, and again, I think that probably this one slightly wins out. Having said that, um, in different areas, the other versions all have um, positives. It's got a really nice pylon and good fan blades on the JC. It's got. Um, really good engine shape um, and the back of the pylons on the AV400 and it's got again similar it's got a, a good engine shape um, as long as you ignore the pylons and, and decent fan blades on the Phoenix. Okay moving to the rear of the aircraft and again we'll start with the Phoenix version here now this is the oldest of the molds I think um, so maybe you can give it some slack there but it's also got the weakest of the, the rear ends. Um, firstly, it's the only one of the molds that does not have a free rudder here, so the, the tail join with the fuselage is runs along its entire margin. It also has a rather, you know, rounded kind of top here too, and you can see that, that certainly at this magnification that the horizontal stabs um, have a rather large join area there, which isn't particularly tight to the fuselage, so in my opinion that's probably the worst of the tails areas here. If we look at the the JC wings in this same space, then I think this has actually got an exceptionally good area here. Um, it's got a much better join at the horizontal stabs. It's got a nice tight tail here. And again, you've got the free rudder, which I mentioned a minute ago, where the, you can see it's not connected until beyond the rudder, the tail. So I think this has got actually probably a really, really nice rear end. Moving again to the AV400, and again, I think this has got a good back end as well. It's got a nice tail shape up here. It's got a nice free rudder. It's got good connection um, of the horizontal stabs. The only thing I'd say that, that kind of went against the mold here slightly is that the, the join with the fuselage front there is a little bit um, clunky, but nitpicking somewhat there, I feel. Moving on to the last, which is again the AV4, um, sorry, the NG models, and and again, this looks very much like the, the A400, except it's got a um, a better join at the front here. I think you can see again, it's got the free rudder. It's got a good horizontal stabs. It's got a nice tail shape. Um, so again, probably you know on points, you'd have to say the NG was winning in there, and the weakest is certainly the Phoenix. So moving on to the general look and feel of the mold and the detailing that you're likely to get on one of these from each of these manufacturers. And if we start with the Phoenix then, you know, this model looks quite nice. Um, it would have been nice if Phoenix had managed to put the right same rego on the wings as they put on the rear fuselage, but let's ignore that for the time being. Um, I think it holds up decently as an A350, the Phoenix. It's a little bit dated. I don't really like the engine pylons, as I said, which damages where the engines are held. I don't think the back end is as good and I, I don't think the, the nose is good. I actually think it's the weakest of the four, but, but overall it's looking pretty good and there's some nice detailing on the fuselage line here. You can see these little molds in here. And if we skip over to the bottom, there is an attempt here to do some um, main undercarriage doors. You can just about see it if I move it around. It's a little bit clunky, um, but it's looking okay. It's, it's not gonna win any awards, I feel. Um, for the detailing on the underside, but it's okay. 
Now moving over to JC and you can see here that they actually don't mold on necessarily all those little um, areas on the rooftop here. So it's actually not got the same level of detailing along the roof line that the Phoenix does, which is interesting. Obviously what you do get when you get JC wings or Gemini models is a better quality of printing than you get on Phoenix. And you can tend to see that when you move over to the back and the bottom um, where there's a lot more detail print, like the undercarriage doors here, for example, which they don't bother molding in, they just print on, which looks really nice. So it's got some really good detailing um, and the printing kind of helps the mold look good. Over to the AV400, and I'm a big fan of what they're trying to achieve here. Um, again, they actually don't mold in some of the smaller um, areas um, on the roof line, but they do have these beacon lights, which I think look really, really cool. So, um, really pleased with the way they look. And the printing on these is, is on the same level as on the JC Wings. Really, really good. Um, area which you get your Wi-Fi dome and when you move over again you get a belly beacon light which looks nice and lots of detail printing um, better than you're going to get with a Phoenix so looks really nice from underneath and lastly up is the newest the NG models again they also don't mold in um, the small lumps and bumps along the fuselage midline roof there um, and they don't do beacon lights either um, but there is good printing detail here and the model generally stands up very nicely as we've seen from the individual parts and if we slip over to the bottom again um, from the underside there's lots of detail and it looks you know really nice and the printing quality of NG is, is second to none um, so Overall, you know, if we look at each of these as an A350, I think that the, the NG version, you know, performs really nicely. It looks really good as an A350 and no major reservations with this one whatsoever. Uh, if we look at the, the JC wings, it's a nice mold. I'd like the undercarriage to be longer. I'd like them to do something with their cockpit printing too. Um, but overall, the mold is, is doing nicely um, and the changes they've made to the nose cone have made it better so um, it's competing. The Aviation 400 um, again um, it's a really really nice mold there are some areas small areas which could do with improvement the inside of the fan blades um, tiny mount on the engine pylons but overall it's looking really nice it certainly competes with the other three um, and last up, um, we've got the oldest mold, the Phoenix, which they have made some changes on. Um, it's not that bad, A350, but it is, in my opinion, the weakest in most areas of the mold. Um, so the engine pylons are very weak, and the rear end is a little bit weak, and even the nose is, is probably the weakest. And Phoenix tend to have the weakest printing, too, of these four manufacturers. So, there we go. Okay, so a quick roundup of this um, video. Really, I think that all of the A350 molds that I'm looking at here are passable. Um, the differences between them are often quite minor, as you can see from the video. Um, that doesn't mean there aren't differences and it, that I do not favor one or the other, I certainly do. Um, and if I look at these, then I had to score them from you know worst to best, then I'd have to say that the Phoenix is, is the weakest of the, the four for the reasons I've talked about. It's not a dreadful mold by any means, but it certainly could do with some improvements. It's a little bit outdated by comparison with what's going on um, in the scale now. Up in the third place, I think I'm gonna be putting the uh, JC Wings Gemini A350. Again, it's a, a nice mold. The changes they've made have significantly improved it. Um, I would like them to do something about their cockpit printing, um, but I don't think it's quite in the same league still as the two newer molds. So it's a good mold, but perhaps not quite as good for me personally. Still, you know, not necessarily say don't buy it, I still would get it, but um, if there was opportunity, I'd probably aim for uh, one of the others.
in second place, uh, definitely the Aviation 400 mold. I think it's got um, extra details and a slightly better shape across the fuselage and tail and other areas. In comparison to the Phoenix and the Gemini JC, it's um, been my go-to mold for A350s for some time and I don't really see a reason to stop buying it. I think it's really, really nice. Um, so definitely something I would recommend in this scale, a really, really good A350, especially if you like the beacon light detailing, which I actually really do. So um, yeah, a, a worthy second place for the Aviation 400 mold here, which is very close to um, first place. But the winner for me out of the four molds is the newest, um, it's the NG Models mold. I think that in hyper detail, it does outstrip the Aviation 400 in most of the areas that matter, like the fan blades and the nose shape and the nose gear, um, but only by a very small margin. So as I say, um, I think that you could get away with buying any of these A350s and be quite happy with the model, um, but the biggest gap is between um, the Phoenix and the JC Wings, and then the other three molds are all kind of much with muchness, though I personally prefer the Aviation 400 and the NG versions over the JC, mainly for the printing. So that is what I think. Um, Drop me a line in the comments to say what you think is the best of these four A350 molds in 400 scale. Um, you don't have to agree with me, obviously, um, but I hope the video has at least given you the opportunity to see all four molds up close and get an idea about what is being offered in the scale um, for the A350, which is going to continue to be a obviously really, really important type in this scale for many years to come. Thanks very much for watching as always, and if you like the video, please subscribe and check me out on Facebook and Instagram at Yester Airlines, and obviously check out the website. Thanks very much for watching guys, I'll see you later on.